Hey everybody, it's Paul Yokobitis from Cary State Planning, back with another video as part of our 2020 challenge. Today I wanna to talk about social security survivor rights, uh, survivor benefits for kids when their parent passes away. So recently in my life and, and in the, in, uh, it's come up with clients as well, um, when a parent passes away and they have minor kids, in my case, my, my brother passed away about a little over a month ago, he left minor kids behind. Um, generally, the, the children are entitled to receive a benefit from the Social Security benefits that the, the parent would have received. So this is essentially you know, benefiting from the FICA payments that have been made by the parent over their lifetime uh, up until their death. And so usually the way it works is a child will receive 75% of the Social Security benefit that the parent would have received based on what they've contrib uh, contributed through FICA uh, over their lifetime. And when there's more than one child, it's capped at 150% of the benefit per family. So you can often see uh, children receiving sometimes a thousand or more dollars you know, per child per month based on um, the, the social security uh, support they're receiving through survivor benefits. Now, what you can do with the, that money is often akin to like child support. It's basically money that's supposed to replace the support of the parent who's passed away. And it basically terminates at age 18 or age 19, depending on uh, when the child is done with, with uh, high school. So the purpose is to provide for you know, food and shelter and education and those, those basic needs that a parent would otherwise uh, pay for. The, the way that it works functionally, though, is when there's a surviving parent, like the, the mom or the dad who didn't pass, uh, they generally just get the money and can deposit it into their own account. Practically speaking, it's probably a good idea to, to keep an account of what those funds are used for, but you know it, it would generally be appropriate to use that money for groceries, for medical expenses, for um, a portion of the, the monthly home expenses, like utilities and rent and mortgage and that kind of thing. But there isn't a annual accounting requirement when it comes to a um, parent as uh, the receiver of those funds. So it can be very helpful, especially if the, the parent who has passed or the, the uh, um, deceased provided significant uh, support for the kids to report, re replace at least a portion of what was otherwise provided. Um, there's also different, different uh, survivor benefits for a surviving spouse, a surviving deceased or a disabled child. Uh, there's different survivor uh, benefits that are triggered at different times and different amounts, uh, just all within the Social Security Administration. So great benefit if it's uh, available. Uh, if you have questions about how Social Security may work as part of your plan uh, or in, in the wake of uh, the death of a loved one, Go ahead and click the link below and you can get on our calendar. We can discuss what that would look like for you. This is Paul from Carrier State Planning.